running on, on Unity. So here we have a sphere being rendered. Well, let's look at how many triangles we're using to render the sphere. Not a lot, right? There are about 3,000 triangles. And what displacement mapping is, is a technique that allows you to displace the geometry to create incredible detail. And it does that by, basic, by looking up, using a displacement map, which is a texture. So you look up you know, from a texture, from this texture, and then use that to perturb the vertex position. Or you may actually do this procedurally if you wanted to. But displacement mapping requires that you know, you have, you're drawing lots and lots of really, really, really small triangles. Otherwise, it doesn't work. It creates artifacts. It just cracks. But that's fine. You know, we can use tessellation. That's what it's here for. Because we still want to send 3,000 triangles, uh, smaller triangles to the GPU, and use tessellation to generate that. So let's turn wireframe mode off, and let's turn displacement mapping on. As you can see now, incredible detail on the sphere. Right? If I turn wireframe mode on, you can see we're generating a lot more triangles, and they are really, really small. In fact, let's actually animate the displacement map so you can see the ch shapes changing, and let's zoom in to see detail. You can see self-shadowing happening. And the reason uh, self-shadowing is happening here is because we're actually changing the geometry. Okay? Unlike you know, a technique many of you may be familiar with called bump mapping, which just creates an illusion of realism. So this is another technique which you can use with tessellation to create you know, incredible detail in your application that you're rendering. And hey, great thank you to Unity for this demo.